And here I'm going to put in some uh, sleigh bells and some jingles. Uh, so it's going to be a real Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <coughs> So are you going to do an introduction for the main episode now? <laughs> no, don't. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <clears throat> <laughs> 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 uh, I haven't. I haven't a... Sorry. Oh. <laughs> oh, go on. Yeah, I was. Uh, I was uh, thinking about a ho 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 introduction. Um, I uh, need to uh, think a bit more about it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you like the little um, reel I put out for us on our Instagram? The mystery switch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of wondering, what what is we going to cut together now? But yeah, that was great. <laughs> yeah. Thank, was... Thanks for sending me those clips. That was brilliant. <laughs> yeah, I did, yeah, I didn't cross my mind what it was before. So, but, oh, yeah, this, this fits. <laughs> Scans. <laughs> That's really stupid. The the right amount of stupid for yeah. for that. <laughs> oh, so I have a bit a, a conundrum here, because I was cleaning my desk, uh, and then I found uh, a a scratch lottery ticket card, whatever it's called in English. Yeah. Yeah. Lottery. Uh, yeah. Scratch card. Yeah. Uh, one of those that you can win up to uh, ten thousand quid in a month for 25 years only that it expired three and a half years ago <laughs> should I scratch it or yes. shouldn't I throw it away scratch throw it, it away now <laughs> burn it, it. <laughs> <laughs> here we have two uh, very uh, uh, so you've got, you've, got, you've got two people on your shoulder one's the devil and one's an angel which is which <laughs> Yeah, I, and I, I felt like this was What's gonna gonna happen? Uh, so maybe we should involve the listeners or something like that and have a poll on should I <laughs> should I see if I've lost a lot or I mean nothing good I? can come out of this. Burn it. I mean it's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at these things. I have uh, my Christmas calendar uh, for the last couple of years have been the scratchy lottery ticket thing, and of course. The main price being like a uh, hundred thousand euros or something, and that is, of course, you need to scratch twelve uh, symbols of Santa Claus or something. Or, uh, and of course, two years in a row now, I've scratched so many Santa Clauses early on that I need to scratch all of them because if this is the winning ticket, I don't just want it laying around, uh, getting <laughs> lost by some of the kids uh, with playing with it. And then, of course ended up with 11 of 12 <laughs> like so close but yet so far so uh, how many times did you count them <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, I, i've never tr thrown them away so i count them and yeah it's still it's still only 11 of 12 but uh, maybe i count it wrong so i count again and I, I okay i'll hang on to them but of course they have an expiry date <laughs> <laughs> scratch it <laughs> Yeah, I was thinking of maybe doing a, like a live or something like that on Instagram, perhaps. Um, yeah. But we see what the, I mean, we got two votes, one for each each uh, <laughs> each camp um, right I now. Changed, so I let's see. I changed you. my mind. I'll uh, do it, um, uh, but as a live because uh, I I never dare yeah. press the live icon, and I don't know what happens <laughs> when I do. So it's nice if someone can try that, and I can uh, ask how it <laughs> how it works. <laughs> But turn it off before you commit suicide if you've won. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see what the what the audience thinks. So, uh, their audience, chime in. Should I should I scratch the the lottery ticket or should I just uh, tear it up and throw it away and never think about it again? <laughs> scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> So it was um, raining this morning, and so I had a couple of hours in the workshop before I went to work, and I've been wanting to make myself a little magnetic memo board, just for sticking notes up that I make on the, at the desk. And so I uh, cut this lovely piece of metal out, started engraving it, and uh, nearly got to the end of the engraving, and then I thought I'll just stick one of the magnets on, at which point I realised it was aluminium. 
<laughs> oh, brilliant. That can happen. Yeah. So that was uh, my, my first ever number one crude mistake that I'm going to share on the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> so as we're coming towards the end of the year, you know, we're, the burning question on everybody's lips is, did Hovard finish the hallway? Did the gang get done? Well, it's uh, still plenty of time left. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, I got some accessories in the mail today because we bought some uh, shelving system that is actually made for these panels and we need to buy the mirror because we're going to hang that at the appropriate height and then of course all the shelves and everything the coat hangers and so on should be placed uh, accordingly so that's the plan uh, and that's of course just a major part of procrastinating the fact that I need to put up the trim <laughs> around the doors <laughs> which uh, well the plan is to paint them on Thursday and then uh, spend a couple of hours uh, on Friday uh, just uh, fitting them and uh, putting them up so it, it should be doable unless uh, someone throws a wrench into the system which most <laughs> likely will be myself <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say you did, you did say it was all going to be done last weekend didn't you <laughs> Yeah, I did, but a couple, couple of hours work to do. <laughs> Stuff happened, and yeah, <laughs> <laughs> shit happens. <laughs> yeah, life, life gets in the way. No, we went uh, <laughs> Sunday. We were at the birthday party, and then Saturday we needed to get some stuff done, and then of course the there are only so many hours in a day. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> so yeah, Turk works. <laughs> you want it? <laughs> <laughs> Go for it. Have a little chat. Let me just find it first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing a, a bit of Googling here and I see someone has been on my knife idea already. But uh, nothing close to my design, so I'm safe there. But I was also thinking about cheating. I'm not going to go into the details here, but I see I can actually combine my initial idea of cheating with my now new design idea. Yeah, and we have to set some perimeters, I think, for this knife along i mean if you talked about making a knife out of a saw blade in the early stages i remember but maybe we shouldn't really have any any restraints at all or should we have some kind of restraints or well i think it's that's not a knife this is a knife <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, I, unfortunately i already used that clip at several occasions but uh, <laughs> then again it, it's nice to be so open that people can enter with the craziest of ideas is it's like the the cheat goods uh, challenge uh yeah where you also had the brilliant idea of using well uh, i mean uh, cloth is also sheet goods so i can sew yeah. something and that people didn't expect that at all but it's a it's a brilliant take on it and then of course yeah definitely it's the same uh, on the knife along if you don't put any restraints or parameters down then people can really stretched uh, the concept of a knife <laughs> <laughs> yeah i don't think there should be any restrictions on that right are you ready for a turg word yes yeah the weekly turg hey glenn um yeah if you wouldn't mind uh i just want to say thank you to uh you and the lads uh for just mentioning the scrap we build up build off so much <laughs> Uh, you can probably tell I haven't written this down or rehearsed it by how much I'm cocking up the words I'm saying. <laughs> but, yeah, thanks very much to everyone uh, on the podcast. Uh, it, it's really good to when you guys uh, get behind me and obviously try and make the build-off bigger and bigger. So thanks very, very much. And for everyone who got involved in it, uh, it'll be back next year, hopefully bigger again. Hopefully more mentions on the podcast. And, uh, <laughs> Cheers for uh, this sort of segment that's developed on your show as well. <laughs> uh, I do. Uh, it's definitely better than having me on as a guest. I'll give you that much. <laughs> right, nice one. Cheers, lads. Have a good one. <laughs> nice. That was surprisingly nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> surprisingly kind, I should say. Um. Yeah, there were, there were a few other messages, but they weren't for this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> Didn't make it past the <laughs> censoring committee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we discovered that we are uh, table saw twins today, me and Tim. Yeah. We both have the same table saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing, but yeah, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah we're, we're only two steps away from having a child together now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's an interesting way to, to organize, to make a community, sort them out by who are using the same. I mean, the, we got the simple ones with the brands of, of all the battery tools. For instance, um, the yeah. kind of table saw, what laser <laughs> do you have, what 3D printer, and so, so on and so on. Yeah. What's the I, best I think tool of sorting people with? Bye. I, I don't think at this day and age that we, it, we need more segregation. So maybe you <laughs> no, should just no. uh, <laughs> leave it be. And all tools Let's are good build tools. build walls, not bridges. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean, it segregates off even further because, you know, I'm a Bosch guy too. So but I'm Bosch green and Havard's Bosch blue. So yeah, yeah and that's I'm tricky. A yeah, so me and me and Havard would fight each other, but then we'd probably stand together against Makita. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, likely. It's like a, it's like sibling rivalry. You can disagree, but when it comes to taking on some external <laughs> man, you team up. <laughs> I think Blue Bosch is my second. Second biggest brand on tools. Tools. Oh, yeah. that's it. Gang up against me now. Yeah. <laughs> but what you don't, <laughs> what you don't want to do is you go in and you find these charts showing which company owns yeah. which company, <laughs> and then of course which factories make the different tools. But it's like uh, I just saw a video of someone realizing that uh, their Devolt tools was the exact. <laughs> The <laughs> same internals and made at the same factory as some other <laughs> low, <laughs> low budget brand. So, uh, yeah, I mean, everyone has a the, the pricey one and the budget one and some in, in between. Yeah, perhaps as well. There's an AEG and the Ryobi and one more. If that's the same. Yeah. For instance. So yeah. But I'm thinking the. Um, I think Ryobi is actually. I I don't like their battery with the uh, the oh the plastic cock just sticking up. I don't like the form yeah. factor of their batteries. <laughs> um, I was searching for words. But yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm with but you there. They are really catering to me as a maker because they have a lot of fancy tools and sanders and which would have been nice as a maker, but it's not within the demographic of Bosch uh, professional because they are more into people building houses and doing that sort of stuff. But of course, now that you get the, the adapters, so I'm actually, I'm, I, I have the Ryobi glue gun and they have a few other tools that I really want. Uh, so I'm now getting an adapter so I can use my Bosch batteries on those. So you might start to see a bit more green uh, <laughs> in my workshop if it's good enough for Colin first it's probably good enough for you yeah yeah more <laughs> more than likely um, and, and that being said on the topic of glue guns um, did you see the last video of Nerdforge no no I haven't seen that oh. yet well that was really good uh, of course uh, they have built a lot of these dioramas and we saw a lot of them at uh, the Scarpet Festival uh, on portrayal there and they now made the, the largest one to date and they just hot glued a lot of cardboard boxes together and then they just shaved off the corner with a, like a knife and then they just put some, I think it was cotton fabric, just submerged into a mixture of wood glue and water. And then they just draped that over the cardboard boxes and when that dried it was like rock hard and then mm. of course... Yeah. Uh, she started doing her magic uh, with the painting and so on, but it's it looked like something I I can't do the finish 
that they do on their projects but oh. i was really interested in trying to see if i could work with the materials in some way and of course not making a uh, like a two meter uh, castle with all the intricate details but uh some of that you want to make a bigger volcano to... you want, want to make a bigger volcano than Gren. yeah well that's basically it. Uh, i'm uh, <laughs> i'm gaining skills and knowledge for that day i'm gonna set a world in... record in uh <laughs> children's uh science fair volcano competition <laughs> interestingly <laughs> enough it's uh, the ingredients i use for making the volcano were kitchen roll wood glue and water yeah <laughs> it's just PVA basically, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, Wood basically. It's really yeah. useful. Yeah. Yeah. So it's yeah. a it's a PVA based paper mache. Yeah, yeah. It's the best of both worlds, I guess. But it, it does because I, I really agree solid. on the sentiment that, of course, we could do this with fiberglass and epoxy, and but I don't like working with fiberglass and epoxy, and I like <laughs> me neither. It's a it's a it's a brilliant material uh, with its properties and everything but working with it is a pain it's much uh, nice to sit in your t-shirt and don't having to use your uh, respiratory systems or uh, of any kind working with wood glue and <laughs> yeah. cotton fabric yeah <laughs> but yeah maybe that will be the goal for next year making a totally different project than i usually do and then of course i don't think that will happen this year but also at some place you should make a a cosplay costume and I, th I think a couple of days ago i stumbled over a guy like okay everybody's doing cosplay you're miserable it's hot and you're walking around so he just oh i'm building a dalek i, I can sit inside <laughs> it i can have a cooling system i can have a fridge so it's like uh, using his 3d printer to piece by piece building a life-size dalek and i was like oh god i want that so bad <laughs> Just putting it on a wheel, on a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. Drives yeah. Wheelchair, wheelchair, drive it around. I got a part for my next largest project today. I'm going to build another stringed instrument just for a change. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mixing it up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to add a string, and this time it's going to be made out of teak. Though we all love teak so much. Ooh, going the teak route, mm. eh? Yeah. Actually, after we had the discussion about not liking teak i made something for the utility room just a little mop holder out of it and it's actually lovely stuff to work with isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's brilliant to work with actually. <laughs> why do you hate it then <laughs> i don't like the look of it but it is um, beautiful to work with you can always stain it i mean yeah. if, if i could have the properties of teak but it would look like oak that would yeah. be the perfect yeah. material for me i think yeah Got that beautiful fine dust that gets up your nose like walnut dust and oh it's lovely stuff to work with finishes yeah. nicely you're sneezing red for the entire yeah. week <laughs> <laughs> i had a spring clean in the workshop yesterday and uh, i store all my wood underneath the workbench and i got all of that out hoovered all the wood and hoovered all underneath the bench and today i've oh i've been <laughs> sneezing out sawdust all day <laughs> <laughs> I've actually had to uh, use uh, my Hoover uh, at a couple of occasions now because it's been too cold. My preferred method is, of course, to just open the entire garage door and then just start at the <laughs> innermost corner with the <laughs> air blower and just blow everything yeah. <laughs> and just work my way <laughs> through the exit. I do that with my leaf blower when it's but only when it's summertime. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the only time I would wish for a larger compressor because the the small silent one is perfect for everything i need except when i'm uh, oh. uh actually blowing down my workshop because after 10 seconds it's out of wind and i have to wait for oh. two minutes for it to charge again oh no i use the uh, the petrol leaf blower yeah <laughs> and that being said i have <laughs> one thinking of those. up the place as well <laughs> yeah <laughs> It really That's, gets rid um, of the dust in those hard to reach places though. <laughs> I did actually, I, I bought one uh, on a sale. So I have uh, a petrol powered uh, leaf blower, but I, I don't use it as a leaf blower. So I only use it, I used it to power the, the snowball uh, Gatling cannon, but it's sitting there unused in its box. And I'm, I, I want to do more with it. And I was Forge. thinking about, uh, uh, make uh, and it's been done before but I, I still want to do it some sort of a flamethrower because i can 
mount the nozzle to it and an ignition system and of course uh, uh, at my mother's cabin I can actually fire it over the water without any risk of actually burning something down but could I add to it could I make a twist uh, so I'm I'm thinking about that but uh, so I think sometime during the year that might happen why don't you just incorporate it in your cosplay <laughs> <sighs> yeah but then it will be my first, but also probably the only cosplay I'll ever do. <laughs> <laughs> Guy torch what? down the arena somewhere. <laughs> Why don't you see how hot you can make a fire using the uh, petrol leaf blower and see how quickly you can roast a baked potato or something. Or bake a, bake a baked potato. See if you can incinerate it within seconds. Yeah, that would be interesting. I, I have the... Uh the outdoor fireplace yeah which is made out of steel and i can fire that and get it going so it's almost glowing red hot but i think if you start forcing air through it i could probably make it glowing white and (laughs) just melt at some point (laughs) (laughs) because I, i burned a lot of plywood here the other day and that being dry wood but also uh finely laminated with uh with glue it's really flammable and that burns crazy yeah. hot so uh, <laughs> yeah maybe something there of course uh, a yeah. leaf blower is uh, you can do a lot of things they're good for blowing leaves as well occasionally yeah so I've heard <laughs> um, <but laughs> then again there's just more leaves Boring. where they come from so yeah, yeah. <laughs> it feels like they're just for making noise outside the window <laughs> yeah that's the thing i mean i would understand it if you had like a a paved road or something then of course but we don't have any flat surfaces so the the leaves will they will just blow half a meter and then stick to something and then you really have to get up close to blow it anywhere else and then you just end up going half a meter it's yeah it's a lot of work for (laughs) making noise i could i could do that with a chainsaw (laughs) <laughs> so KJ, do you like the uh, stats I put up for you on the wall? <laughs> yeah, well, it, it kind of bothers me that uh, your numbers are too small for me to read. <laughs> <laughs> but but I like the 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 whole one that it's not really accentuates uh, uh, that he has one more number than we have. <laughs> Yes. So someone is down three eight nine. Yeah. (laughs) 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 But is that a K? Yeah, that's a K. It's a. Oh yeah, because I I can I can see the the comma there. So then it's to me it would read three hundred something thousand, which is a (laughs) bit far off. Yeah. Three point eight nine K. (laughs) One can only dream. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, I see our intern is still on a steadily incline. So, uh, yeah, yeah, he got his. Uh, he put a thing out on Instagram yesterday. Who's going to be the five thousandth and five hundred and fifty fifth subscriber? And um, Mrs. Glenn subscribed to him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I just want him to get to it so he reads out the silly questions I've sent in. <laughs> oh, I... have you have you seen the post? He's done several posts on um, asking for um, questions that he's going to do a, a live on on the 9th no, of I January. Yeah. yeah, the the answers he's, he's put, to questions. Yeah, he's put one up. He's put one up again tonight. So yeah, get involved. I've sent plenty of silly ones. <laughs> yeah, I sent him one. <laughs> I think my favourite one is I like chocolate, but what's your favourite animal? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, I, at least the post I saw that was it wasn't questions and answers; it was answers and questions, uh, uh, not Q and A, but A and Q. And that's really nice. Do it the uh, Jeopardy style, just send in answers and then I will provide the question for it. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's that's what that's we interesting. Do. Next time we ask for ask for questions, we should ask yeah. for answers and come up with the questions <laughs> instead. <laughs> that sounds like a long episode. <laughs> yeah, but it's content. Oh absolutely. <laughs> well, I see he's writing that the Q and A special will be on the eighth of January. 
So have your oh, questions sorry, I think ready. I said the nine. Yeah. 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 Send them in. I'll give him some questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, the chaos goblin is at it again. Yeah. <laughs> Just started thinking. Do I have his address? <laughs> Yeah, I feel something. Oh fuck! I can't get anything uh, ready for the eighth. I mean, the postal service is probably on respiratory aid by that point after Christmas. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah thanks again for the for the uh, Christmas present. Oh so, yeah, yeah, thank you. Oh, no, thank you for my thank you for my photo. Actually, KJ, that came today. Uh-huh. Yeah, and I. Uh, like last week when I was telling you about all my DIY projects and you said, well, that's just making me feel bad. <laughs> I feel bad. I've not said nothing out. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> but just, just know I do love you both and, you know, Merry Christmas. That's thought that counts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take that. <laughs> it's, it's really nice to, to start filling out your Christmas tree with maker buddies. Things that maker yeah. buddies have done, so I think yeah. I hope that can oh. be a recurring thing. I'm tagging that. I'm stealing that idea. A maker Christmas tree. I'm gonna next year. I'm gonna have one in my workshop, and it's only gonna be decorated by things made by other makers. That's gonna be a thing. So uh, that's a good one. Good yeah. take. I don't want to get rid of the pink baubles. <laughs> okay, you can adapt that one. I mean, okay. it, it's the concept of uh, having yeah. only maker paraphernalia on it. Yeah. yeah. Unintentionally, our Christmas tree has already become a maker tree. There's loads of um, homemade and handmade things on there. And um, honestly, I hung the decorations up. I thought they were great. And I thought Michelle's going to take these off the tree when she gets home. <laughs> and um, all she did was rearrange them. She absolutely adores them. So thank you. <laughs> well, nice. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> Sorry for not uh, taking the time off <laughs> to paint them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I just took I, that as an opportunity for us to add our own flair if we wanted to. Yeah, yeah. I, exactly. I, com- I commented, of course, and said, so, <laughs> mine's not finished. <laughs> oh. It's a collaboration, Gwen. You're supposed to finish it. <laughs> yeah. Now, that being said, someone actually paid for them, and of course, uh, that comes with some perks. <laughs> ah, okay, so this was the free version. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't have to watch a, a commercial beforehand, at least. Oh, that so was nice. That's nice. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, of commercials, uh, when I was listening to podcasts the other day, I, I got an ad for Aura Frame, I think it's called. Which se- seems like the worst idea ever. Uh, it's like one of those uh, digital uh, picture frames, where you where they show, yeah, show the di- digital pictures when you hang it on the wall. Yeah. But this one is connected to Wi-Fi, and people can send it pictures from <laughs> from from oh. wherever. <clears throat> I hope it's from, some some kind of account or something, but. Do, don't uh, uh, these people have friends who are the worst kind of friends? Oh, you should definitely <laughs> How much get one of those. will be put on these <laughs> all around the world? I've heard about these, and I also <laughs> heard that they're... I mean, you have to... It's it's like getting a router. They uh, they usually come with a standardized password and access that you need to change, but most people don't, so don't. I think someone yeah. has... Uh, <laughs> actually got uh, the access to picture frames of random people and that that's yeah. a that's a heaven for someone of course you're gonna, <laughs> wanting I mean, to I mean, wreak the, havoc the basic idea is great for i mean putting one in in grandma's house and then yeah, you yeah. don't even have to speak to grandma just airdrop her photos of the grandkids and <laughs> you don't have to talk to her but <laughs> why is there dirty pictures on my wall <laughs> Grandma, you had to change the password. What is a password? <laughs> it doesn't just have to be dirty pictures. My my daughter's got a thing. She'll send a close up of her eye and stuff like that in pictures. Just as weird yeah, that ones. Be really gross yeah. as well. And the ear. Yeah. <laughs> that could just I be guess. funny. Yeah. 
Oh, that just it, reminded it, me. We are coming up to. I'm spending some time every Christmas just uh, taking a backup and sorting all the pictures and videos taking on my phone for this year and then starting fresh in January and my phone has actually started letting me know that I'm reaching the limits of its storage capacity so I have uh, a lot of things to go through and sort so <laughs> yay <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I try to do that in batches, but then um, I, I also do the the big backup. I, I I was supposed to do it like every quarter or every half year, but it's more or less around Christmas. Because I need to find all the good pictures of the kids from the past year so we can make a calendar for, for the family. Uh, oh, you're one of those. Yeah. <laughs> it's an, that's an easy, easy Christmas present. Uh, well, when you have the, the pictures, but finding all the pictures and sorting them out and finding the good ones, that's a hassle. Oh, that's <laughs> beautiful. I just got an amazing idea. Of course, I, I've been uh, I've been sending postcards to random strangers as a thing for many years, but I have been looking into some way of upping my game um, and I have a few alternatives, but you could also make a calendar and send it to someone make it all this specific <laughs> based on the same premise that you find someone with an open account on social media and you just uh, do some uh, stalking uh, and then of course you you may make something that's totally unrelated but it also seems like it can't really be a coincidence because th that was that was brilliant we we um the friends we visited to get the christmas tree they have ordered some pictures of uh like this online uh, picture developing company and they have done a cock up the company uh, so they not only got their own pictures but they got this uh, a huge uh, picture frame on um, yeah with the frame and everything of like a, a really old picture of a Volvo 240 so there is someone out there that has obviously ordered that as a gift for someone. It's probably someone's uh, grandfather's old car or something that they have then scaled up and ordered uh, with a picture frame and everything. And of course it got, yeah, probably some technical issues at the company making this. So they send it to our friends and they don't know where it should have gone and whose it is or anything, but they, they have now a, one and a half meter times a meter huge picture of a Volvo 240 <laughs> which belongs to someone and then I started thinking well we have the registration number and I'm not sure if you in Sweden as in Norway you can actually go into the authorities uh, web page and actually find out who owns the car so they could probably track the owner yeah. down that way uh, but then again well, maybe they should keep it, but it, it didn't really fit into their other pictures, and it was a far stretch from the family pictures they ordered. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you, when you talk about making a calendar, if if you want the inspiration, I can uh, recommend the, uh, Chicken Daddies. Just Google that Chicken Daddies. Uh, Chickendaddies.com. It's a it's a Chicken Daddy's calendar. That's a thing. Etsy it's wonderful. Discount code. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this wasn't too bad. <laughs> I lied. My eyes. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> well, there is one a swimsuit issue. Uh, yeah. That's a little gift uh, from me to uh, all of our listeners. <laughs> yeah. Well, some of them were funny, I see, but some of them are obviously green screened, which is a bit sad. Yeah. You can't get them all. No. Yeah, there are some gems here <laughs> without going into details. <laughs> People need to Google that for themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're both just tricking me into looking at something really weird. <laughs> Some weird Scandinavian thing. <laughs> All right, Harris is, Harris, uh, it's probably from the origin. 
The idea came about when my partner Tim agreed to post for a silly photo shoot after we discussed the target dress challenge online. All right, so uh, I see a I see a trend here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it could be a Hallmark movie, I guess. <laughs> so we're not doing a swimsuit calendar for next year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's a. Uh, <laughs> That's uh, food for thought. The number one crude mistakes. Uh, <laughs> 2024 January. calendar. Yeah. yeah. Do it in January when we're all looking at our worst. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to be Mr. January? <laughs> <laughs>